Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Danny. So today we're going to start with a slip knot, which is basically your first step of learning to crochet. Most all projects are going to start with a slip knot unless you're working in the round. If you're working in the round, you can start with a slip knot and a chain or you can start with a magic circle and I will cover the magic circle and teach you how to do that in my next video. But for now, we are going to work on our slip knot. So I am just using Mainstays 100% acrylic yarn, which is the equivalent of Red Heart Super Saver. Both of those can be purchased at Walmart. I think this was like, I don't know, 287, something like that. So they're, um, economic so this is a four weight as i said um we're going to get started making our slip knot by putting the tail of our yarn on the inside of our four fingers just lay it right there and hold it down with your thumb then we're going to separate our index finger from the rest of them wrap it around once and then twice with the working end now we're going to take that front loop and pull it behind the back loop. Do it again, take that front loop, pull it behind the back loop. Now we're going to grab that front loop, slide our finger out and pull it. That's your slip knot. Now when you put it on your hook, you can grab the working end and pull and it will tighten it up on your hook. And then you can begin to do your chaining and start your project. We'll do that one more time to be sure that it makes sense for everybody. So we're going to take the tail of our yarn, hold it down on our index finger with our thumb, lay the rest of the tail of the yarn down along our four fingers on the inside, separate your index finger from the rest of your fingers, and wrap the working yarn around once, and then twice. Now you're going to take that front loop, put it behind your back loop. Again, take that front loop, put it behind your back loop. Now we're going to take that front loop and as we pull it, we are going to pull out our finger. And there you have your slip knot. Now when you go to put it on your hook, you put it on and then you pull your working yarn and it will tighten your slip knot onto your hook and then you can begin your chaining to start your project. Hopefully that makes sense to everybody. If you have any questions whatsoever or suggestions, please leave them down below in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you are alerted anytime I post new videos. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you on the next one.